trying out something different for my wash and go. <laughs> put any water i mean i do have a little bit of water in my hair right now but because i just rinsed out my deep conditioner so you could say my hair is damp right now but i won't be adding any water normally my wash and goes take me like at least a full day to dry but sometimes even into the next day it's still wet i'm gonna be using the this hydration custard from eden and then i'm pairing it with this jelly soft curls from miss jessie's i already mixed them together on my hands and they were a match i'm just gonna do it really quick because i found out that some people don't know about this it's a way to figure out if your products are gonna blend so i rubbed a little bit of the hydration custard on my hand and then i'm gonna squirt a little bit of the jelly on my hand rub that together and it's a nice smooth finish. There's no clumps or anything, meaning that these this is a good combo and it's not gonna flake on me. So that's a little trick if you didn't know about that. I feel like most people know, but just in case somebody didn't know, that's what I mean when I say that I tested it out to see if they were good together. Adding the custard. I'm starting on the ends and then I work my way up just because it's easier for me to detangle that way. So yeah, first I'm finger detangling a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with my brush now. Again, with the brush, I start from the bottom as well and work my way up. And it's looking real smooth. Then I'm gonna add the jelly and I'm just gonna finger detangle with the jelly. I'm not gonna use the brush at all for the jelly. And so, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm not adding any water. Being that I'm low porosity, it takes a while for the water to even get through. So then to put products on top of that, it just takes forever. So if this works out, if I like it, then this is what I'll be doing from now on. And I know as I move like up the rest of my hair, it's gonna get harder because it's gonna get drier because it's just sitting brush. And I'm trying to brush as close to my roots as possible to make sure they're smooth since I won't be using the brush when I apply the jelly. The jelly. Really, I'm noticing that I don't need a lot of the jelly because the custard is very moisturizing and defining. So it's making it easy for me to, for the jelly to glide through my hair and define the curls. Okay. Now I'm just gonna speed this up and I'll show you the end result. And then I'm just gonna like kind of scrunch it up a little bit to help the curls form. Yeah. 
tell my money to play your girl, so run it up to ya. I pull up in my stunt like a 007 James Bond type movie, yeah. Hey, don't flip on a switch. Okay, this is how I sleep with my wash and goes. It dried really, really nicely. Well, it dried quick as hell too. So I just separate it into five parts. One in the middle, two on the side, one in the front, one in the back. I'm just putting some oil on my hands. I talk about vulnerable oil a lot. I have some in my Amazon store. I'll link it down below if you don't know where to get any from. This shrinkage is absolutely crazy, y'all. Okay, so this is the next day. I created a little bit of frizz while picking because, you know, I need a little bit of volume, but the curls just look so amazing. The shape is everything, like, from now on, it's only gonna be dry wash and goes. Like, I really been playing myself. And I think if you're a little parasi that you've been playing yourself too, doing soaking wet wash and goes, like, my hair was dry in a couple hours. Okay, like, whoever said that we needed it to be soaking wet told a motherfucking lie. I was gonna stretch it, but I decided to just pick it out and see how it goes, how it gets as the days go on without, like, stretching it or anything. Let me see the curls. But yeah, I'm actually gonna come back tomorrow just to show you guys day three before ending the video so we can really see how this lasts but yeah i'm excited i'm happy with it period